Hey guys, uh, name is Doug, um, and I'm going to make this video uh, for guys that are uh, new to Raspberry Pis uh, that are also um, ham radio operators. So, um, and you don't necessarily have to be a ham radio operator for, for some of these programs, um, but I'm going to show you it's not difficult at all. Um, Raspberryan. Um, is the um, operating software we're going to run here today on the Raspberry Pi. And it's not difficult at all uh, to download and install um, a lot of these programs. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where it uh, they make it seem a little bit more difficult than it has to be. You don't necessarily have to open up a terminal uh, and, and um, download and install uh, that way. I'm going to show you another way. It's simple, easy, very user friendly. Um, let's start with, uh, I've already pre-downloaded uh, and uh, somewhat set up um, an SDR program called GQRX. And uh, that works with the um, RTL, uh, SDR dongles, and the SDR play, and others. Um, it's real simple to download and use. Uh, I do have it downloaded. Um, we're going to open up the program and I'm going to um, start the program just for a second or two to show you it does work. Uh, I have my RTL, RTL dongle um, installed on my Raspberry Pi 4 um, right now with a little rubber duck antenna so I'm not getting the best reception but you'll get the point. Uh, but let's start with um, you know uh, of course you, you download uh, Raspberryan uh, onto a micro SD card, and, and there's plenty of videos out there showing you how to how to do all that. Uh, and you plug it into the Pi, and you pretty much follow the uh, on-screen prompts. Um, get that all set up, um, and then uh, you do want to bring up the terminal, um, and you want to bring up the terminal like this once you um, the, the operating system Raspberryan is up and running. And start with um, um, uh, sudo uh, space at git space update. Then you hit enter. Um, and then once that's done, you do sudo at dash get upgrade and then enter and when you hit the enter on this one um, within a few seconds you'll get a prompt uh, Y for yes N for no you want to hit yes and let it continue and I will tell you the update uh, will take some time to do um, depending on your your internet speed and everything else but um, just sit back and let it do what it needs to do. Uh, once that's done, uh, you will need to reboot. But before you reboot, uh, depending on what Pi you're running, uh, you need to come in here, go to Preferences, go down to Configuration, open that up, and go to Performance. And I like to adjust my GPU memory here. Uh, stock with the program I think it's around 64 this particular Pi 4 um, I take it up to about 204 I think is where the sweet spot is uh, once that's done it'll prompt and ask you if you want to reboot so go ahead and reboot then uh, so with all that out of the way um, you want to go to your start menu here preferences add and remove programs so once you're here uh, the box up here. Um, I will show you uh, GQRX. Enter. We're not going to download it. We already did. Um, but I'm going to show you. And we're going to do a couple other programs um, during this video. Uh, but it's searching packages. And all you have to do is check these boxes and then hit apply. And when you hit apply, um, a little um, box is going to come up asking you to enter your password 
that you created earlier when you originally setting up your Pi. Um, and then hit enter and it'll start downloading it. So, with that out of the way, um, I'm going to show you a live satellite tracking uh, software and we're going to download it. And it is G P R E D I E T. Um, hit enter. And I'll start looking for it. It might be C T. Um, I'll have to look it up again. Um, for some reason, I think it is C T. Um, let's see if it still comes up with it. Yeah, I didn't think it would. Okay, no big deal. C T. So it's G P R E D I C T. And this is a great um, um, tracking, satellite tracking software. So we're going to only down this por download this portion of it here. So check the box, hit apply, asking for password. Hit enter. It's starting to download the package. And I'm going to show you how to, once you download it, um, to put it on desktop uh, icon uh, on your desktop there. Um, uh, depending on your internet speed, is going to determine how fast um, everything downloads. Uh, it's installing now, so it was a pretty quick download. Um, and then there's some other ones. Um, uh, CQR Log, it's a ham radio logging program. Um, you will find that um, ham radio related, 90% uh, of the stuff that you want, you'll be able to do uh, in this manner. Uh, find it, download it, uh, set it up. Um, okay, that's done. Let's close out of that. Now we've got to go look for it. Uh, now I do want to mention when you download GQRX, you're going to find it there under Internet. Um, and actually that's where the, um, um, the satellite tracking software is also. Add to desktop and you're done. That's it. Um, now I, I will say that there's a lot of programs that you're going to download where it will not open until you do a reboot. Uh, so if you download something and it doesn't open, uh, it's because you need to reboot first and then it'll open. And I can guarantee GQRX is that way. Um, some programs are like that, some are not. But let's open up the uh, satellite uh, tracking program and take a look at that. Opens up very quickly. Um, this will track uh, ham radio satellites. It will track um, uh, International Space Station. Uh, right now there's, what, uh, six satellites being tracked. Uh, SO50, FO29, the ISS, which is the uh, International Space Station, uh, AO91, right there, AO73, AO85. Now, you will have to go in here and do some configurations. Uh, you have to put in um, your, your, um, uh, where you're, you're located at. Um, so it knows how to properly track uh, according to your to your location. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this program. You can change different style maps. Um, I mean, just tons of things. This is a great um, live satellite tracking program. Um, I think it's the only one that I know of for the Pi, but I'm sure there's others. So uh, that's the satellite tracking program. So let's close out of this. And by the way, let me show you, if up the top here, if you right click, you can add slash remove panel items. Um, as you see, that's my temperature up there. Um, my temperature normally runs lower than that, but I haven't set up uh, the correct uh, fans that I normally do on them. Usually I don't go over 32 Celsius. So anyway, hit add. Um, we're going to go CPU uh, use monitor add and you'll see it pop up. We can close out of this um, and we can change this. If you go back up here, right click on it, 
Um, go into settings. We can do a percentage. Okay, now you see 51%. Now I normally overclock my Raspberry Pis. On the Pi 4, I overclock uh, to 2 uh, gigahertz. Um, this particular one is not, but you'll see the CPU usage uh, drop dramatically when you're, you're overclocking. Just make sure you have a, uh, a decent cooling system on there. Um, so let's go to the next one. We are going down here, add, remove programs, and let's see, let's do the CQRLOG. Hit enter. Searching for the program. And this is a great logging program. Okay, check the box. Apply password. Put my password in. Hit OK. Now it's downloading the package. And I don't believe this one should take very long. Um, but there's there's tons of uh, programs you can download like this. Matter of fact, you can go up here and just type in ham radio. Uh, hit enter and it will give you tons and tons and tons of programs you can download. Um, FL Digi, um, what else is there? Chirp. Um, you guys that like to program your radios using Chirp, Chirp's in here. Uh, you can download it the same way I'm downloading this right now. Um, I've downloaded it before. I don't normally use Chirp, but I've opened it up. Um, everything works fine, works correctly. Um, there's other SDR programs. Um, it's not difficult at all uh, with the Raspberry Pi. I've seen some of you guys mention that um, you know uh, you're kind of hesitant because you don't know Linux or whatever the case may be. All this stuff's user friendly. It, it's nothing like it used to be. Um, I've come to find that running Raspberry and um, is actually easier than Windows, so uh, I would not sit there and, and hesitate. And for a Raspberry Pi, anywhere from, you know, uh, what, $35 up to $55, uh, Raspberry and uh, operating system is totally free. Uh, I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, and the Raspberry Pi's performances are, are getting amazing for a single board. Uh, like I said, I, I overclock my all my um, Raspberry Pi 4s to, to 2 gigahertz, and um, they just run fantastic. Um, so, um, this should be just about installing now. It shouldn't take long. Um, and you can also go over here to the left and... Um, click on one of these and uh, it'll give you a list of programs uh, that you can download. Um, so, I mean, you could spend hours going through the programs and playing with different things and so on and so forth. Um, I'm actually on a touch screen right now. Um, and I've noticed uh, even with that, um, I didn't have to download no drivers, anything else. I hooked up my Raspberry Pi 4 to the back of the 7-inch uh, monitor. Um, and uh, it just worked immediately. I did not have to do anything. Um, it's been uh, it's been a good experience. It's been great. Um, matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do a whole radio slash media center um, in my 2004 uh, Mustang GT 40th anniversary. navigation the the whole deal so uh, that's my current project so we are just about there we're going to close out of this when we're done um, and we're going to open the logging program up and I'll show you what the logging program it, it's it's a real nice layout so so let's go find out where it went to um, no, no, let's see, we'll find it here in a second, there it is, so, remember, right click, add to desktop, there it is, 
Now let's open this bad boy up. And you see it opened fairly quickly. Some of the programs might take a little longer to open than others. Um, the first launch of it. Um, but um, after that they, they open pretty um, pretty quickly. Uh, if you're trying to run this program for the first time, you are uh, we'll do yes. Um, give it a second. Um, but you know, uh, if you're out in the field or and you need a good um, good logging program, this is actually pretty nice. Um, and it's pretty um, um, pretty nicely laid out. Uh, so uh, let that set up. Okay, open log. Okay, close that. Um, not right now. No. Well, there it is. Um, like I said, it's a it's a nice program. Um, call sign name QTH grid. Um, the mode you're running. Uh, the power you're running. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, even comments. Um, start time, end time. Um, it looks uh, it looks pretty decent, and it looks like it keeps track of the time also uh, automatically, so you don't have to actually type in the time. Um, so there's that. Um, let's close out of this. Um, so let's go back to start menu, preferences, add remove programs, and I'm just going to show you. Um, if you type in um, radio, enter, you'll see tons and tons and tons of programs that come up. Like I said, FL Digi, um, other, on and so forth. Um, matter of fact, I might download another SDR program. Um, hold on. Why is it this not? Okay. This thing, there it goes. Let's try this again. Ham radio. Uh, let's see if it, uh, if it comes up this time. Looked like it was having a little bit of an issue. There it is. So, um, a lot of these are ham radio or ham radio related or, um, you know, something of that nature. Um, let's see. Um, but like I said, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of uh, programs here. Um, let's see something we recognize. Um... Oh, see, there's Chirp right there. Configuration tool for amateur radio. Uh, let's download that. Uh, let's hit apply. Uh, let's see. Enter. And uh, I think I'm going to download another SDR program. Um, I got to remember the name of it. Uh, Cube or Cubic or something like that. Uh, SDR. Um, yeah, I'll have to remember what it was. Let's see. Let's see, let me see if I can remember. Enter, see if we can find it. And like I said, some of the programs you will have to do a reboot before it'll it'll run or run properly. Um, yeah, see, just popped up right there. Um, and it did download. Um, what's this? Uh, SDR. Let's download that. 
Um, there is RTL SDR Dump 1090. That's for like the aircraft and stuff. Um, but let's do this SDR. Get this downloaded real quick. But yeah, you you shouldn't feel intimidated. I mean, it's extremely extremely easy. Um, if you can run a Windows machine, you can run this. Get this done. Okay, so uh, hopefully I don't have to do a reboot to get these programs to open or run properly, but we're going to try here. So let's find out where the programs went. Um, not there. Um, sound, uh, no. What was that? No. Let's see, no. There's that one. So we're going to right click, add to desktop. Let's see if this one will open or run properly. Okay, so it did open. Um, let's see if it runs though. And it does run. There you go, guys. That easy. You don't have to do anything else. It's not complicated. And it works extremely well. I mean, you see how quick that went. So let's close out of this. And let's find the other program. I don't know if I can remember what the other program was that we downloaded. Oh, Chirp. There it is. Add to desktop. And let's open this if it'll open. See what I'm saying? Um, now, when you do a reboot, this will open just fine. Some programs will work fine. Some won't. You have to do a reboot. Um, oh, okay. It is going to open for me. Give it a second. And like I said, sometimes the first initial um, launch of a program could take a little bit. Um, actually, let's do new. Give it a second. Okay. Do I need to do anything else? Um, okay. There you go. I don't know how to use this program to be honest with you. I'm just trying to show you that it does work. Um, I'm sure there's guys out there that know how to run it better than me. Oh, just had something pop up. There you go. So, see, there's Chirp. Um, and that was extremely easy to set up. Uh, now when it comes to attaching to your radio, I assume it's just the same USB cable to um, to your radio that you would use for Windows or whatever the case may be. So I hope this helps you out, guys. And uh, if you could um, like and subscribe to, to these videos and to my channel, that would be fantastic. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos um, here in the future. Ham radio related, uh, car related, um, even surveillance video camera uh, related. Uh, so yeah, if you could subscribe, uh, share these videos, like uh, the whole nine yards, that would be fantastic. Uh, again, this is Doug, and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope uh, it helps some of you guys uh, um, you know, decide to, to try a, a Raspberry Pi out. Uh, as you've seen, it's not difficult at all. Take care, guys. 7-3. Um, Till next.